This is a spoon worm. Spoon worm repeatedly inflates and shrinks its body like this. What's inside this spoon worm? Today, let's do the spoon worm's anatomy. Spoon worm is a creature that continuously changes its body shape. If you take it out from the water, it spews out water like this. Spoon worm's body can be divided into two parts, proboscis and body. The part where it looks like a beak of a bird is the proboscis, and it has mouth inside. And the other side has anus. You can see that its mouth and anus are located at both ends of the body. And if you look spoon worm in the water, you can see their body swell. They can do this by sucking the seawater through their anus. You can see their organs if they swell themselves enough. I'll show the inside little bit later. Spoon worm eats in a unique way. Their mucus is secreted from their proboscis. So you can see that their mucus clumped around here. Also, spoon worms live by digging a U-shaped cave inside the tidal flat. And in front of this cave, they make a trap with mucus like a spider web. As seawater comes in and out, some organic matter and plankton gets stuck in this web. Thanks to their mucus trap, spoon worm can get their nutrients. Also, if you look closely to its proboscis, you can see the part that really looks like eyes. This part looks like a face. If you zoom in, you can see that it's not the eyes, it is setae. Setae is a characteristic of Annelida. Spoonworm has setae not only around the proboscis, but also around its anus. Setae is quite strong and sharp. So you must get rid of both the proboscis and anus part when you eat spoonworm. Now, let's begin the spoonworm anatomy. First, fix the spoonworm with dissection needle and split its body. Spoonworm has red blood and it comes out quite a lot. If you take the blood out of its body and wash with water and fix it, you can see it's inside very well like this. You can see that a long digestive duct is wrapping around its body inside. Let's stretch them in line. Very long. This is the end of the intestine. Spoonworm can swell intestine by sucking in the sea water through its anus. Through this, it can freely change the shape of its body. Also, around the anus, there is a pair of anal vesicles. They can breathe with this part using the water flow from its anus. You can also see the ventral nerve cord is passing through the bottom of the digestive duct. Lastly, most of the spoonworm look like males. But spoonworm is an animal that is distinguished from male and female. Spoonworm's gonad is located around its anus. But this spoonworm is not mature yet. So we cannot see it properly. This is the end of today's anatomy. Spoonworms called intestine in the sea. And people sometimes eat them grilled. I grilled it deliciously. And gave it to Sebastian. Sebastian doesn't even treat this as food. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe.